believe he could be a center or a guard. Um, obviously, you have to snap at center and make some IDs, but um, I hope this is the best position for him um, and he plays the best ball moving forward. Yeah, that, that was the offense that we felt gave us the best chance to succeed uh, versus Purdue. Um, you know, and that fit his skill set and what we thought he did best. Uh, this week, we have to continue to do that in terms of what we feel will give the best chance for offense to succeed, including Riley versus this defense. It's a different defense than what we saw last week. And every week as you go into preparation, um, you have to take into consider consideration what your guys can do well, but also what's going to help you have success versus the defense you're going against. We uh, Bryce Young played really well. Um, He's a guy that's different, man. He's going to continue to get more playing time. Um, he's a really good player. And uh, he's young, but he's, he's, he's got a lot of talent. Um, junior Tua Halamaka, you'll see more of him. Um, you'll see Logan Thomas, who did a good job in his reps that he got on Saturday. And that's why I said that in the opening statement. It was really good to see some twos and threes get valuable, meaningful reps um, versus a, an opponent. Um, on a Big Ten opponent, and they they played well, played to the standard, which to me speaks to their preparation. Um, you never know going into a game if you're going to be called upon or not, but you got to be ready. And um, there was guys on scout team on both sides of the ball that played on Saturday that executed their job. And so credit to our players and our coaches um, that weren't the starters for being prepared. I think a lot of guys um, earned some trust from their coaches on Saturday. You know, I think I said Bryce Young, um, Leonard Moore continues to um, improve. He had a strong fall camp. And, you know, it's just you have so much confidence in Benjamin Morrison and, and Christian Gray and, you know, even Jaden Mickey. It's like, you know, where can we find a way to get Leonard Moore on the field more? Because he, he is a talented guy. Same thing with Kennedy Erlacher, man. He played really well. Um, you know, but then you say, okay, you got a Don out there. You got X. You got Rod Moore. Uh, Rod Hurt, sorry, and um, you know it's it's you know where can we find a place for those guys? But they're earning it. Um, they're earning it. They're good football players that we're going to need to be ready to help us. He's uh, man, he's a ball hawk. He finds a way to um, man find the ball, close space. He's a close space. He's a really good tackler. You know, a challenge or even in special teams, can we get him out there more? Um, you know, I'm going to continue to challenge Kennedy to, to make sure you're a great practice player too, right? And those are things that are hard as a freshman to learn how to practice at that standard and then perform at the standard that he's performing at. But, um, man, he is, uh, he is a really good player.